Hello, my name is Martin Fon, and I am a solutions architect with CalLogic Software. So in this video demonstration, we'll be exploring Cloud Casa, which is a cloud-based backup and recovery platform for Kubernetes clusters developed by CalLogic Software. Cloud Casa was born in the cloud and built with Kubernetes, so there's no infrastructure needed from you. In this demonstration, I'll be taking you through accessing the Cloud Casa portal, registering your Kubernetes cluster to Cloud Casa, performing a backup of a Kubernetes application and its persistent volume, and finally, running a restore of that same persistent volume slash namespace that we just performed a backup of. So to get started, we'll access the Cloud Casa portal via home.cloudcasa.io. From here, you'll be able to register for an account using your email and be able to log in. I'll log in with my account that I recently registered. So once logged into the Cloud Casa environment, you'll be presented with a high level dashboard showing you the daily status of your backup and restore policies, along with other useful information specific to the data protected in your Kubernetes environment. Right now I have a clean slate. So let's go ahead and register my Azure Kubernetes cluster. To do so, I'll click on Setup and Add Cluster. Here I'll provide my cluster with a name and description. And click the Register Cluster button. What's nice about this is that there is no limit to the number of clusters or worker nodes in Cloud Casa. This will provide me with a kubectl command, which includes a unique YAML file, which I'll run on my Kubernetes cluster in order to link my Kubernetes environment with Cloud Casa. After running this script, I'll see that my cluster will move from a pending state into a ready state, and that an agent service from Cloud Casa has been deployed to my cluster. Now let's kick off a backup. So from the dashboard, we'll click on define backup and we'll give our backup job a name. In this case, I'll call my backup WordPress backup and select the Kubernetes cluster that we just registered to the environment. From here, I'll be able to select the namespace that I would like to protect within my Kubernetes cluster and define configuration options like enabling persistent volume snapshots. You have the option of manually running the job or scheduling it to run at a later date. And you can also specify the retention period for how long you would like to keep the recovery point for. Let's go ahead and save and run the job now. At this point, the job is running. You'll be able to see the progress of the backup job by clicking on the progress bar at the bottom of the screen. This will automatically back up the contents of the namespace along with the cluster scope resources. All resource data is automatically backed up to Cloud Costa secure cloud storage via S3. And we create a snapshot of the persistent volumes as well using CSI. It's important to mention that your data is always encrypted at flight and rest. Once the backup is complete, we can perform a restore of that namespace. Let's first delete the namespace WordPress from the Kubernetes cluster. To do so, Let's first verify that it exists through a kubectl get command. And now let's delete the namespace through a kubectl delete command. Now that we've confirmed that the namespace has been deleted, let's restore it from our Cloud Casa backup. To do so, I'll click on the Restore button to restore the most recent recovery point. And 
And I'll also restore the persistent volume snapshot as well. We can monitor the progress of the restore from the UI. Now that the restore is complete, let's check to make sure the namespace has been restored in our cluster. And there you can see it once again. So as you can see, you can back up and restore within minutes of registering your Kubernetes cluster with Cloud Casa. Cloud Casa works on all distributions of Kubernetes, on-premise or in the cloud. And that means one simple solution for EKS, AKS, GKE, Rancher, Tanzu, OpenShift, and more. We hope you enjoyed this video. To learn more, please visit cloudcasa.io. Thank you.